This is um, video number 12 for solving different types of probability problems that we're posting from digital-university.org and it's another type of Permu or another type of uh, Bernoulli um, probability problem and to solve those as you may or may not have seen in our past um, uh, probability videos to solve them, we draw heavily upon um, other videos that we had already posted concerning how to solve different types of combination problems and permutation problems, particularly now permutations that involve repeats and how they can be recast as combination problems. So if you're not familiar with that, if you can go to the website at digital-university.org and click on the combinatorics and probability section, there you'll be able to access those um, earlier videos. Okay, in this video, we want to consider this problem. It says that what is the probability, well, it states, tells us that the probability for two parents to have a child with red hair is one-fourth. The question that is asked is, if there are seven children in the family, what is the probability that two of the children will have red hair? So this is a Bernoulli type of probability problem. We can consider the event of having red hair is a success and not having red hair is a failure. And the percentage of success, of course, is one-fourth. Therefore, the percentage of failure is three-fourths. And with Bernoulli type um, probability problems, there's typically several different trials that are involved. And that's what we can think of is had the each individual birth of each child, we can think of that as a separate trial. So the formula that we had developed in the previous videos, uh, starting I think with video number 10 and continuing on with video number 11, was this, where here then, this is the probability of x number of successes, and that's equal to this combination where we have n separate trials, and out of those n separate trials, we had x number of successes. P is the probability of a success, and it's raised to the x exponent. 1 minus P is failure, and that's raised to the exponent of n minus x. And here, for this problem, let's go ahead and just plug the numbers in, solve the problem, and then we'll kick it around a little bit and see if we can make sense out of the formula like we did in the past videos. So here, there are seven children in the family. What is the probability that two of them will have red hair? So we're looking at two successes, and that will be equal to the number of trials, that's seven children. Each birth can be considered a separate trial event. And two successes. The probability of having red hair is one-fourth, so the probability of success is one-fourth. And x is two. The probability of failure, of course, is going to be 1 minus 1 fourth, or 3 fourths. And that will be equal to 7 minus 2. So this is to the fifth power. So let's see what we have. This is, let's figure out the binomial coefficient first. Here we have this binomial coefficient. And that's equal to 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 5 factorial. So this is 7 times 6 times 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial. 2 factorial is just 2. So these cancel. That's 3. And we get 21. 
So this part here is 21. Okay, and what do we have from here? Here we have 3 to the 5th times 1 to the 5th. So that's just 3 to the 5th. So we have 21 times 3 to the 5th. And then here we have 4 to the 5th. Oh, down here we have 4 squared. So that would be 4 to the 7th. And that right there then, if we can figure that out, that is the answer to our problem. So again, you can, we're not going to go through the computations here, we just want to go through and demonstrate the technique. But here we have, from here, 3 to the 5th times 1. Here we have 4 to the 5th, 4 squared, that's 4 to the 7th. And then from the combination, again we had 7 factorial, over 5 factorial times 2 factorial and that's 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial 2 factorial is just 2 that goes into there 3 and that's 21 so multiply these two together and we get our number we get our answer now what we want to do for the rest of the video here is, as we did in the past videos, look at this a little bit more carefully and see if the formula makes sense to us. So, there are seven trials, seven children, and having red hair is a success. Not having red hair is a failure. So, it might be that the first two children had red hair, and then the remaining five children did not. Now, if we write this down using probability notation, we would say, well, then we have an event having red hair, an event having red hair, and then an event not having red hair, an event not having red hair, and so forth. This, what is the probability of this occurring? And of course, these are all independent events. So it would be the probability of this times the probability of this times the probability of all the failures. This is one-fourth times one-fourth, so we have one-fourth squared. This is three-fourths times three-fourths five times, times three-fourths to the fifth power. So we see where this comes from. Now, what about this part? Well, <coughs> this is for when you have have it in this order. But we might have where the first child does not have red hair, the second child has red hair, the third child has red hair, and then the rest of them do not have red hair. Now the probability of this event That's going to be the same because we have two successes, the probability, and we can draw it like this. Here we have two successes, red hair, one-fourth squared, and we have one, two, three, four, five failures, three-fourths to the fifth. So the probability of this is the same thing as this. What's different about it is that is the order of the events differ. Here, the first two children had red hair. Let's just write it here. And the remaining five children did not. Here, 
For this possibility, the first child did not have red hair, but the next two did. Now, and then, the remaining of the children did not have red hair. Well, how many variations of these can we have? Because each one of these, each one of these here occurs with this probability. So does this one. Well, how many of these do we have? Well, that's the same thing as asking, here we have a total of seven symbols. Five of them are repeated. Two of these are repeated. So we were asking ourselves, how many different ways can we permute these when you have these repetitions? And we know how to do that. It is the total number of symbols that is that we have, that's seven, that factorial, divided by the factorial of the repeats. The two successes, they're repeated, and the five failures. So this number right here tells us the number of different ways that the children with red hair can appear. It might be the first two children. It might be the second and third children. It might be the first one and the last one. This is the total number of ways that red-haired children can appear in seven different trials or in seven different births. And for each time you have for each one of these possible situations, each one occurs with this probability. So the probability for all the possible situations would be this times 1 fourth squared times 3 fourths to the fifth. And that is what we have up here. So there's no more to the problem than that. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, again, all these um, Bernoulli-type probability problems, they're um, all cut from the same cloth, so to speak. You have two, only two different events. One event is considered a success. The other event is considered a failure. And you have multiple trials that are involved. And then this here tells us the formula of the probability of getting X number of successes. Okay, that's it for this video. Um, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll see if we can solve some more problems.